1350, I am Ibn Khaldun. Some call me mystic, others philosopher and jurist. Others imprison me with their foul words and sentences. I am everything and nothing. For now, both my parents are gone. My home has become a hell. <laughs> been visited by destructive plague. Nations devastated. Populations vanished. Communities vanished. The Black Death is among us. Quaker yourself. What are you quacking on about now? As Quakers say to each other, please, could you just shut up? What? You're bloody quackers, you are. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Do you know what? There's never a helping hand in this house. Yet, you go around helping these strangers who don't give a damn about you. I'm saving lives. Yeah, but what about saving your own life for a change, eh? How many people are phoning up saying, oh, I'm not feeling well, because they're scared to come into work. There's hardly any carers left, maybe, so I've got to do what I can. But who's going to care for you, Reg? The man upstairs will. Well, the man upstairs can't be there for you all the time. You've got to look after yourself first, then your family, then your friends. That should be your ranking. Mm, I would. But hospitals are short on beds, and staff are getting COVID and dropping like flies. Hence, more discharges. Well, the only discharge I'm seeing is the stuff that's coming out their asses. Oh, BB, how could you? They've got no one to look after them, and council is saying, can you take this, can you take this? How can we say no? If I can help them a teeny bit, I will. No matter what shit they throw at us, it comes with a caring territory. Oh, caring my foot. They don't care about you or anyone that's not white. 
You know, Jen got spat upon the other day, and, and look at Nisha when those bastards urinated on her on her daily walk around the bloody park. They were yobbos. Not everyone's like that. Come here. Helping and caring suits me. And I get to meet so many people. Yeah, but it's people who piss you about. We should try for an office job, Reg. Yeah? Stay out their way. So many different hats I've worn throughout my career. And now nothing. We're just playing to their tune. They don't care about us. We don't even get to spend time together. When was the last time we did something romantic together, Reg? Oh, uh, we can play Monopoly tomorrow night. Hmm. Oh, yeah. A reservation for two at the Mayfair Blue Square, please. <laughs> we, can, we can get a new board. A digital one. With self-moving pieces. Do they even make those? No, but I can invent one. 3D as well. Oh, you're joking me. No, I'm serious. Maybe I can patent it. And we can take the trip to Rio de Janeiro you always wanted. Yeah, I think Carnival will have to wait till next lifetime. Ah, no, 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 Bibi. This lifetime. <laughs> Don't you worry about a thing. I can look after you all. So you can't even look after yourself, Reg. Sometimes I don't know whether you're coming or going, and nor do you. <gasps> you may be a key worker, but it's a key to a toilet hole. <sighs> and then, and then all, all this abuse you have to take. You know what, you need to tell them what's what. If some nutter calls you a bloody packy and then expects you to clean up his shit, I mean his literal shit, you should smear it in his face. Yeah, and I get the sack as well for ages to be. Yeah, well, what about them and their old age abuse? Can't we pull them up for racism, hmm? The customer's always right. What, except when they're wrong, yeah? My boss says they don't mean it. Oh, for crying out loud! What is it when they get to over 70, they get a kind of pensioner's prejudice permit? Got to agree and keep a tight lip, or else zero hours will become proper zero hours. No more fresh veg, curry, and jerk chicken. It'll be tin sardines from the food bank all the way. Mm, the shame of it. Oh, hi, Aisha. Oh, yeah, yeah, that sounds delish. Okay, yeah, I'll pop over later. No, 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 not in the house, over the fence as per usual. All right then. See ya. Do you know what? We should do what they do next door and hoard up on bags of rice and lentils. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we going to keep them? Under the bed? Can't have built a shed for their stash. Mm. <sighs> like they're expecting D-Day. Yeah, D-Day. Mm. What does the D in D-Day stand for? You know where they had the landings? Norman D. No, you idiot. That would make it end day, wouldn't it? No, not the N word. Oh, you are a right bright spark no, stop, when you're in your stop element. It, aren't Billy, you? Stop it, Stop <laughs> it. No, I think it's D for desperation. Yeah. Desperate people. Desperate times. <laughs> no one around to look after you. So, you call up some agency for a carer. Then, when you get the carer, Sorry, uh, but I, I, I think that you've made a mistake. Uh, no, the, the, well, the order is correct, but uh, you sent the wrong skin colour. Yeah, uh, can you send the white one next time? Because we're all white, which makes us all right. You're desperately blind. And we're desperately blindsided. It's suffocating. And now we've got this disease to top it all off. <laughs> world has changed. Cities, buildings, houses laid to waste. The people are diseased. Their rulers become autocrats and narcissists. 
people are reduced to vermin. And in the land of rats, paranoia is king. And vengeance, it's queen. and go for a walk, huh? Oh, it's scary out there. Well, go out with your brother then. Oh, the bar, it's already gone out. Oh, that boy is always out and you two are always in. Wish I had a more balanced hand. Well, we go out on here, Mum. It's got less viruses, isn't it? Hey, and you better keep away from them or we're properly screwed, right? A Dr Norton will sort them out. A doctor who? Doctor. It's doctor for the laptop, isn't it? <laughs> oh, look, look, look. Look at his house. Oh, my God. Do you reckon you can get into his back garden on this? Oh, how big Dragon his garden is? Oh, I can't get back. Oh, look, 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 I can see his washing line, look. Oh, why don't you take a look at the real garden out there? Hey, look who it is! Bridge, what are you doing down there? I'm thinking about building a shed. Oh, why don't you just buy one like we did? I'm thinking supersonic. What, a supersonic shed? What do they call one of those when they're at home? Ask him if he's going to come over to watch the football through the kitchen window. Sunday's the final. Charlie here wants to know if you're watching football this Sunday. I'll see if you can get away in time. Oh, you always say that, Reg. I'll just watch the repeat, Reg. You can't watch the repeat of the final. That's sacrilege, I shall. I'll try to see you later to him. Got to get to my next year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Care in the community. And hey, listen, who is it this time, eh? Margaret Thatcher or Nigel Farage? Ah, oh, those guys are beyond care. Yeah, that's the phrase, isn't it? Beyond care. Anyway, take care of yourself. Yeah, I'm trying to. See you later. Okay, bye, bye. Come on! Hey, what are you two up to now? Uh, we are checking if we can see our shed on Google Earth. Okay, but I need that for work tomorrow, yeah? Uh, but, uh, Mum, I, I, I need it tomorrow and you're only part-time. So hey, I... what do you mean uh, I'm only part-time, Ali? Uh, it's better than being laid off like Bibi. And let me remind you all here, I am only part-time so I can look after your grandparents because no one does anything around here. Yeah, but uh, I've got English class and we're doing 1984. 1984? Hey, wasn't that the year when Ghost Town came out? This... Town is coming like a ghost town. All the shops are closed down. I'm for the story, you doff. Oh. oh. And I, I thought you were doing Shakespeare. Nah, oh well. Oh well. It's actually really gripping. It's about mm. Big Brother. Your okay. Big Brother? What's the body doing in a book? No, the Big Brother that's watching us. Watching us? What? what? Where? No, he's not a real Big Brother. Fake Big Brother. Yeah, fake Big Brother, but he's real as well. Oh, it's like just fake real, isn't it? Take it, okay? Looks like you actually need education. Thanks, Mum. Mum, Mum, I need education as well. Right. I, I think riches are getting richer and poor are getting poor. Mm. When can I get my laptop? Mm -hmm. And are you going to get up tomorrow morning for school? Yeah, I'll be up, up early at 11. Oh, okay. Well, maybe if you get up a little bit earlier for the doctor's phone run, maybe then you can have it. Well, it's the barracks turn. But he hangs up after five minutes. So. Yeah, and you say, Chor, when you're number one in the queue. Well, I can't help getting excited because I'm so close to speaking to someone. Oh, oh Bala, it is your turn on the phone tomorrow, yeah? Tabarak is out late with his cousins and he's not going to be up on time. But why can't I go out late? Because you are 12 and he is 19. Now honestly, would you believe it? All of this fuss for, for a laptop. Hey, I've called your school 10 million times, gone in about 10 times to get one, then bought it back and then gone in again to get another one. Yeah, I know, but look, it's endless. Hey! Mm. When are they going to give you a decent one that actually works? Well, when they give us a decent prime minister that works, maybe. <laughs> Oh, I mean, someone better than Boris. Oh. You should expect to die. You should expect to die. Exterminate. Kill all the bames. So what the Prime Minister says? I mean, a prime moron, more like. He is on some other planet. I sent him a picture on Snapchat the other day, sending him a picture of Bournemouth Beach, saying, is this even locked down? Because it doesn't even look like it. And he never even opened my message. Whoa, whoa, hold on. You're on Snap, what? You're on social media? It, it is, no, it is anti-social media. Give that over here. Mum! 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 Now, oh. until tomorrow. 
obviously need more custard cream. Oh, Mum, yeah, you go. You better go and check his asthma's okay. Well, Uncle, are you, are you okay? Yes. Just stay out of my mind. Okay, I'm just checking. Honestly, I don't, I don't even get a minute to put my feet up around this place. Why did you have to invite my parents to stay oh, with us, Aisha? I know, I know, but it... Okay, look, we don't have any other option. You know he's on the vulnerable list. He's got to be kept away from the, these pesky kids. <gasps> yes, but do you think vulnerable people can look after themselves, eh? Like, I mean... Mm, I mean, can't do anything without her frame, and she couldn't even hear what I'm saying half the time. Maybe she's not hearing you on purpose. Huh? Hey, do you know what they were getting in their food boxes when I went round? What? Hmm? Mackerels. Mackerels and minestrone soup. Like, honestly, how do you expect your parents to survive on mackerels and minestrone soup? And, and so when I asked the guy, like, you know, do they have any Asian food? The guy said, look, isn't the soup spicy enough? Well, maybe they're getting the food they need here. But Abu's living like a prisoner upstairs. And when you live like a prisoner, you don't get to breathe the kind of air you need to breathe. Oh, Tahir, they just cannot cope on their own. They can't even, or, you know, open up a laptop to order food, yeah? And look, the only tablet that they know is the one that they put in their mouths every four hours. <laughs> look, I'm just saying it needs to go out more. And it's got to keep your brain in good condition. And there's no great indoors around here. Yeah, but there is no knowing what they might touch. And look, and I don't want any more of our relatives dying, okay? Yeah. Look, and Abu, like, you know, he keeps forgetting and taking off his mask. And Ami, she can't even make it past the front gate. <sighs> Look, all I'm saying is the kids can't keep on sleeping in one room. That's true. And I don't get enough sleep before my shift. How'd you expect me to drive my bus in a straight line, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Since when have you driven it? These walls you? aren't soundproof from Abu's snoring. Well, I know, but look, we can't send them to your brother and Lester, can we? You can't even get there because apparently they say it's catching. Well, Coventry's no better. They're calling it Covid Tree. Well, they would, wouldn't they? Like the great desert in front of me, lies the great grief. But the Berber tribes give me sanctuary when the Christians throw me out. But it is only here that I can hear the beat of the heart, the sigh of the breath, the breath of painful recovery. Today, yes? Ventilation is at 40%. Yeah. Stable for the last five hours and now back up to 60%. Um, she still needs oxygen therapy. No sign of organ failure, no thrombosis. Yep, and she's managed to walk on her own for a little bit. She was, in fact, even watching Mrs. Brown's boys yesterday night. I was even laughing at the right spots. <laughs> yep. oh, there's nothing like a bit of Irish giggle to get you better. But if you ask me, I'm more of a Father Ted man. Father Ted, Doctor, would not survive any encounter with Mrs. Brown down the dark alleyway, I tell you. That's an interesting hypothesis, mm -hmm. Nurse. But tell me, be honest, be brutally honest. Do you think the patient will survive? Yes, she has a chance. Ha! Huh. Chance in high hell, more like. To me, she's gone past the point of no return. She the is... The last a chance to lose. She is a fighter, Doctor. The only issue is that her energy levels are low and she's not sleeping at <coughs> night as she should. Well, delirium's to be expected after a month in ICU. Well, downright delirious, in fact. Yesterday night, she'd set off towards a corridor before the alarm went off. She was saying she needed to get back to Harry for dinner time. She was so determined, she took off her nasal gastric, her catheter, her cannula. There was blood everywhere. Oh dear. And she was shouting and screaming that Harry's on his own, she needs to get back home. In fact, we had to call security. One nurse was here, 
the other one was there. She was lashing out at them. And I thought, gosh, she really does not like being enclosed. Can't let security keep our patients where they're supposed to be. Ah, uh, they need to be tied down more firmly. Oh, have a heart, Doctor. Have a lung more, like. You know, what she needs is a new one. Has her next of kin signed the no CPR form, should uh, the need arise? No, no next of kin here. The nearest is in New Zealand. But she says she's not close to them physically nor, nor emotionally. And Harry, her husband, yeah. he, he passed away last year. Covid? Yeah, first wave. Died in hospital. Ah, she couldn't even see him off. Poor woman. Ah, Mrs. Springer, you have sprung back. Uh, we were just saying that, uh, um, we, we... Uh, what we need is for you to focus on getting better. But you're headed in the right direction. I just want to head home. Well, maybe we can aid you in that direction. I, I meant health-wise. Dr. Panasar, can I have a word with you, please? I'll be with you in a moment, Mrs. Springer. We cannot pull the plug on her simply because she's 80. In fact, that is even more reason to keep her in. We need the bed. She is not on solid foods yet. She's on raspberry yogurt, isn't she? That's hardly solid food. That's food. solid enough. She cannot cope on her own, Dr. Panasar. And as you know, with her diabetes and her hypertension, she can regress very easily. No matter. We can't be worrying about her future regressions. When she's out of here, she'll be out of our hands and into care. Would you like to go home, Mrs. Springer? Do I, I do. Tell you what I'll do. I'm going to um, issue you your discharge form tomorrow. Dr. Pansar. You know she's had a good innings. But it's a shame in all likelihood she's not going to make the century. <coughs> Get the discharge form ready. Doctor, not everything is a cricket match. You're right. The rest is just football. Let's get her ready and send her back for a home match. I can't believe Reg can't take a Sunday off to watch some footy. Well, he's got his priorities, hasn't he? Fuck priorities. Hey, this is footy. Hey, look, Rich Tarheel. Shh. Be watching at all. This is it. It's empty time. Oh, ba 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 pissing. Hey, language. <laughs> Why was England's great always tied up in penalties? Because secretly they love football. Oh, I can't stand this. Why are you so worried anyway? You're not even English. I live here, don't I? Living here and being from here, there's a big difference. Yeah? Like mm -hmm. what? And one's about your garden and one's about your home love. Oh? If England win, will there be a school tomorrow? Probably not. Oh! Come on! Come on, England! Come on! 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 Okay. Well, don't worry, I've sanitised everything, yeah? The door handles and the toilet seat. Oh, you'll have to sanitise it after he goes as well. Uh, there's no scientific way for sanitising COVID germs. COVID germs? It's virus. Well, I'm all the bloody same, though. Oh. Tell him! Oh. Oh. oh, what have you done now? Tell him to keep it quiet upstairs. You don't run, you shut up. And you too! Come on, Harry O, Harry Ram, Harry Ram. Football's gonna come home. Oh yeah, Bonucci, Bonucci, what you got for us? Hey, you gonna go home to your mama beer? We're gonna pass to you in Mama Rolly, Mama Shh, yourself. This is it. Well, hey! Oh, look at you. Hey, what you gonna do for us, you pansy blue boys? I thought you liked Italy. Doesn't mean I like Italians. You guys are worse than the English. Shush, this is it. England's turn. Come on, superstar, let's see what you got. Oh, you fucking idiot, hey, Marcus. Hey, language. Mother told Marcus. Hey, I said, watch your language, just switch it. Yeah, Jesus. Dad, wash it. How many left now? 
We've got two chances. Mm -hmm. We're going to get it. Football's going to come home. I wish Red was here to see all this. Oh, I wish this nonsense would stop. I have got bricks on my shoulders. Actually, I, I need to do my pilots in here. Which pilots? Pilots, please. Pilot it's on jet my pilots. back. No, it's my back. <laughs> it's Pilates, mum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, all right, that too. Oh, 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 Jesus, what now? Oh, for crying out loud. What is after Paul now? All the times to choose. Go and help your mum, Milan. See the penalty kicks. I'll give you penalty kick, you little oaf. Go! Why don't you go? What did you say? If I have to freeze a live match on the football, you won't live to tell the story. Why? <laughs> go! <laughs> Respect your elders. Make sure you wear gloves, uh, over gown and, and, and mask. Kind of be infecting him with his bloody Oh, age. just go as you are, Bilal, and keep your distance, you know? It's all right, you'll be absolutely fine. Come on. Come on, in. Come on. Do it for my boy. Do it for my Gareth. Since when has Gareth Southgate been your boy, Dad? Since my cousin moved to Crawley. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Come on, Saka boy. I got my boy all. He's not Welsh, Dad. Uh, come on, Saka, do it for England. Do it for Nigeria. Yeah. Oh, it's going to happen. Should have come home, you what? Saka has to score. It's saved by Donnarumma, and it's Italy, who are the champions of Europe. Oh no! Fuck! Oh, ah, oh, it's all going to kick off now, Dad. You better call Tabarak home. Yeah. Hi, Tabarak. Where are you? Well, yeah, I know. Listen, come home right away. No, all of you, get a taxi, it'll be quicker. Don't worry about the cost. I'll get the dough ready. Uh, what about Reg? Oh, um, pick up Reg wherever he is. No, he can't get a bus tonight. England's gonna go on the rampage. You split the damage when you get here. Towns lie in ruins. But the come faded back writing home. in my book. It was empty. My friends and teachers have joined my parents. My folks are long gone and my friends have left. They come to me in my dreams and prophecies. Day and night I think of Harry, but he does not speak to me. I try to reach them with the magic of my letters. The faint aftershave of my Harry lingers, but there is also this uh, grotty smell of deceit. I do not know where this pestilence comes from, but what's worse, mm -hmm. I do not know where it is going. I keep calling to him, but he does not respond. His toothbrush is in the bathroom, so he can't <coughs> have gone far. The signs and the shifting sands moving around me, like a slow creeping death. Hours pass. Days pass. Weeks Each day pass. As the day before. Um, my world is upside down. Lose my balance. I fall. Like a and slow apocalypse. Pictures from my past go past. <coughs> And then they have made me what I am. And there is this it is a weight that cannot be shifted. Darkness. And then a reluctant accept. I am drowning in death and debt. My death loss is painful. And death. But it has made and me. And I what don't I know am. which is worse. 
I have nothing left but to meet my maker. Hello, Edie. <coughs> I've come to see how you are today. Hey, didn't I tell your boss I want a white carer? <laughs> Uh, they don't do them anymore. What do you mean they don't do them anymore? Uh, they gone out of season, eh? <laughs> no. it's, it's mostly people like us who do this kind of work. Yeah, what did I tell you? You people coming over here, taking our jobs. <laughs> you guys weren't doing it in the first place. That's because you people have taken all the jobs. <laughs> E Edie, <coughs> I can stand here and we can go round and round in circle about employment statistics. Or, I can check your blood sugar level and see if your medication's all right. Have you done your COVID test today? Mm -hmm. I hear you people have it in your genes. <laughs> it's not like that. It's just that us people are on the front line. You know, in the firing line. Dealing with diseases and death all the time. Nurses, doctors, surgeons, you name it. Among the first casualties of this pandemic. Yeah, well, needs must. Yeah, you can put it that way. Well, you keep your distance, though. I am, but I also have to check your blood sugar level. And I have to come close to prick your finger. Mm. Or prick your bugger in home. <laughs> You know what I mean, Edie. Mm. Barge pole, distance, mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> so, how are you doing, Edie? Uh, I'm not sleeping very well. Have you got any drugs for that? <laughs> Why are you not sleeping, Edie? I keep seeing this strange man every time I nod off. Mm -hmm. He says, come with me and you can meet with Harry. And I say, well, what the bugger in hell is he doing with you? Ow. Sorry. Harry's with me. Mm -hmm. And then we keep arguing and arguing and going round and round in circles. <laughs> I think I'm losing my memory. <coughs> That's perfectly normal, considering what you've gone through. Oh. There is something bigger than memory, though. What's that? It's, um... Oh, I forgot. Oh, he looks a bit like you, you know. Who? That man. Yeah, you can't trust anyone these days. Still, <coughs> at least I've got somebody I can rely on. Yeah. <laughs> they seem like impervious to the virus. <laughs> oh, I wish we all were impervious. Yeah, well, I'm very pervious. Pervious? Yeah, at risk. Ah, so am I, because of my job. I've had so many COVID tests, my nostrils are sore. Well, well, at least you get paid for it. I don't get any danger money. Hmm. <laughs> oh. so, so, have you worked out how to FaceTime on the tablet they gave you? Yeah. Well, I suppose I'd better thank you for that. It's like my metal mate. If only I could teach it to give me my medicine, then I wouldn't need you. <laughs> I could teach him over there to help me. Uh, if he could, he'd take about two days to get to you. Mm. Even Mother Teresa doesn't have that kind of patience. I've never understood what a woman like her was doing living in a heathen country. Heathen? Yeah. <laughs> Do you mean Hindu? Heathen, Hindu, it's all the same. <laughs> what they call it, Heathenstan, land of the heathens. Mm -hmm. uh, it's yeah. called India, uh, origins <coughs> of the many of the world religions. Uh, and you'll find it, it had Christians long back. 
When the English barbarian was still doping blue wall paint on their the faces. Barbarians? Hmm. Yeah. Aren't, aren't they like the Italian football team? Aren't, aren't they the robbers tonight? Yeah, I heard as I was walking from my last job. Yeah. Where was that? Uh, about a mile away. Uh, don't you have a car? No, not yet. I'm saving for one. Uh, well, my Harry used to walk a lot when he was a youngin, before he was a school caretaker. Ah, what school was that then? Tidbury. Ah, uh, my neighbour <coughs> kids go there. Ah, oh, it's changed a lot now. All the kids used to come to me to hear my stories. I was better than any of those teachers. Can you do my coat? Well, I can very well believe that. Mm. Oh, let me help. Yeah. <laughs> once, once my Harry mm. walked all the way to the Somme with a 20 kilo backpack and a rifle. Ah, was he in the wall? Of course. <laughs> Have to fight for your country, come mm. what may. Britain first, as they say. <laughs> so, so, oh. <clears throat> so, anyway, he came across this German. He had left his men to go for a slash. Mm. And, uh, well, his hands were busy, as you can imagine. Well, Harry went for his gun. The, the superior vantage point, he said they called it. And then, as he was taking his aim, he thought, well, he's just like me, answering the call of nature, <laughs> not the call of men. So he let him go. <laughs> yeah. But you, young man, what's your name? Oh, they call me Reg. No car, Reg. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> well, my point is, young man, it's not the apples that are bad, it is the barrels that they come from that are bad. Mm. Yes, really, that's the way to think. You should see people for who they really are, not their packaging. I'll get you some water. <coughs> What's all this, Edie? Uh, nothing. Edie, this is not nothing. Kiss my butt. Not without a mask. Kiss my butt mask. Let's not get defensive, Edie. So, did you get them from hospital? Yeah, needs much. You don't need them. Well, you never know. Anyway, they're souvenirs from my holiday of the year. I had a private bathroom, a garden view. It was better than Butlins. You've got to take them back. Well, that's not going to happen, cos I'm never going back there. Then I'll take them back for you. Why must you people spoil my fun? It's not about fun, it's hospital stuff. I'll come in the morning and return them. You're not coming round here any more than you have to. Well, then I take them now. They need everything they've got. Well, you think I give a damn? You should give a damn, they saved your life. Yeah, and for what? A life of misery? I haven't got much time left. <laughs> Edie, it's not like that. You should, <coughs> you should count all your blessings. You mean count the minutes? No. Never forget that there are people who care for you. You mean you? Yes, me. I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Yeah, well, where else? I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Maybe Harry will. Oh, I'm not. Yeah. Okay, uh, don't forget to drink water every two hours. We don't want you dehydrating. Hmm? I'll check your digital alarm for you. Yeah, aren't you a dear? Well, that's what I'm here for. Could you do me a favour? Well, it depends. 
Are you going past the arcade on your way home? I can do. Would you give the slots a whirl for me? <laughs> it's two pounds over there. I've been saving up. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you never know. You may be in for a surprise. Yeah, well, make sure you convert all the winnings into notes. I don't want any more coins. <laughs> yes, of course. So, see you then. He left without even a suitcase. Who? Harry! Oh. He went off with that Asian woman down the road. He went round for a lamb tandoori. I'll give her lamb tandoori next time I see her. Up a buggering arse. Mm. Edie, you have to let bygones be bygones. Yeah, let buggers be buggers, you mean. <laughs> yes, that too. <laughs> well, not without a hiding first. <coughs> well, I guess everyone has to make a bed and lie in it. Yeah, but I don't deserve this bed. It's hard and lonely. I guess no one deserves this, but we can make it into a good place, you know? A good bed. One you can rest in well. Rest in peace, you mean? No, not yet, Evie. You've got lots of spunk still left in you. Needs must. Yeah, needs must. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Hello? Uh, sorry, I was on the streets, I didn't hear. What? No, no, no. It's, I've got one more appointment left, and then I'll get the bus back. Yeah. No, 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 I can't cancel. She needs me to give her medication. Yeah. I'll come straight home after. Yeah. Tax taxi? When do I get a taxi home? Be be baby, listen. I'll be fine. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Is Joe asleep? Good. I'll see you in about an hour. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow night, won't I? Edie, mm. you remember what to do? Yeah, yeah. Good. Good night then. Is it? They smell so nasty. Germ carrying vermin. And you, Harry, my love, let's make you smell like sweetness again. Yeah. There we go. Don't you look lovely today? What you need is a little bit of rouge and a bit of lipstick. Mm. Yeah, there we go, Harry. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him, Harry. A fellow of such great fun and never-ending fancies. <laughs> there, hung those lips that I have kissed, I forget how often. Well, you go to my lord's chamber and tell him to make himself up. To this little favour, he must come. <laughs> Bereft of breath. Skulls scattered hither and thither. No fragrance can hide a pile of rotting death. No space will escape the snare of the reaper. 
Even the camels bring with them the threat of plague. Trust is lost way back into the mists of time. I am weary and weary. Pandemic paranoia, past, present, and future. <laughs> It's, it's two in the morning and, and, and Reg isn't back, Aisha. Okay, oh, well, I'll look after Joe. Will you take a look for him? Yeah, yeah. but where, where shall I go? He goes to he goes about 30 houses a day and I, I, I don't know any of them. Well, you can call his boss for a start. Yeah. But it's too late, it's too late. Baby, it's an emergency, yeah? Is that him? Oh. Reg? Reg? Are you okay? Where are you, Reg? Can, can you put him on speaker? I'm in a bit of trouble. Trouble? What, 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 what do you mean, trouble? What was, was it the thugs from the White Yard pub? It was the other thugs from another yard. What? What, what coppers? I got picked up, stopped in search. They found some needles on me. Needles? Yeah, injections. Well, what were you doing with needles, Reg? Long story. What, what are they they've saying? They've accused me of being a dealer. Wow. What are they saying, Reg? I said, can't you see they are from the hospital? Oh yeah. Then they said, you took them from the hospital. And then they added robbery. I said, since when have heroin dealers started supplying hospital injectables with their drugs? They said, don't be a smart ass with us. Sonny boy. <laughs> Sonny boy. Yeah. Sonny boy. And they charged me for a contempt of cops. What? How many charges? Oh, it's just catastrophe after catastrophe. Five thousand pounds worth. Oh, oh God, crikey. What? That's five thousand pounds we don't have. Don't worry, BB. What do you mean, don't worry, BB? And if we can't find it, then what? Then it's a spell in prison. Oh, oh yalla. What are we going to do? We'll, we'll think of something, yeah? What about work, Reg? Who fucking cares about work? Reg, look. I'm scared. All right? I don't want to be a single mum. You want me? I'm here. But you're not here though, are you? You're never here. We can think of something. Think of what? I don't know, baby. Something. What do you think? Mm -hmm. What are we going to do? The police. The prejudice, the lies, the fines, the pain, the Covid catastrophe. Come, Edie. Come, Bibi. Reg. Aisha. Breath. Give, Give us, us our, our daily, daily breath. breath.